Imagine if you could see the world as it used to be over 100 years ago in 3D, through the eyes of an Arabian man. Using original 3D stereoscopic photography, these digitally restored images can now be seen by modern day audiences like never before. This series of films features the Middle East. Palmyra is an ancient city in Syria. Archaeological finds date back to the Neolithic period and was first documented in the early 2nd millennium BC. Palmyra was ruled by different empires, before becoming part of the Roman Empire in the 1st century AD. In 273 AD, the Emperor Aurelian destroyed the city, which was later partly restored by Diocletian. The Palmyrians, who were successful merchants, established colonies along the Silk Road and traded throughout the Roman Empire. The great city itself was largely abandoned after 634 AD. It was devastated by earthquake and largely covered over by wind-blown sand. Palmyra was rediscovered in 1678 by two English merchants who lived in Aleppo. The first scientific study began in the early 20th century. The Germans carried out the earlier surveys in the 1920s, taken over by the French in 1929. After World War II, a lot more excavations were done. The so-called Islamic State destroyed this World Heritage Site in 2015. Palmyra's wealth enabled the construction of great buildings, such as the Temple of Baal, also known as the Temple of Bel and Temple of the Sun. The temple was consecrated to the Mesopotamian god Bel and formed the centre of religious life in Palmyra and was dedicated in 32 AD. It was converted into a Christian church during the Byzantine era. Parts of the structure were modified by the Arabs in 1132. It remained in use as a mosque until the 1920s. This view shows the outer walls of the leaning south section. This is the Triumphal Arch in the Great Colonnade at the Main Avenue in the ancient city. It was built in several stages during the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD and stretched for more than a kilometre. It linked the Temple of Baal to the Funerary Temple. The early columns were built using the classical Opus Emplectum building technique. These columns consisted of six to eight short sections. This technique was gradually replaced from 2020 AD, utilising three long segments instead of the short drums. This technique allowed for a faster construction. Brackets can be seen on the pillars where statues representing the deceased stood. This is the well-preserved temple of the king's mother, Zenobia. She was an esteemed beauty as well as the most heroic woman of her time. She was carted off to Rome in 272 AD as Aurelian's trophy and reportedly paraded in the streets, bound in gold chains. Later, freed, she married a Roman senator and lived out her days in Tibor, now named Tivoli. The tomb of the three brothers contained funerary paintings of the highest significance incorporating iconography of Parthian and Greco-Roman origins. The right-hand chamber showing sarcophaguses and carved portraits. Here we see the central burial chamber covered with frescoes. Here in an unknown tomb we see a funeral sculpture, six full-length figures on a sarcophagus. 
Tower tombs are a particular feature of Palmyra. This is Ella Bell Tower and was one of the finest. This is the interior of the tomb showing ceiling, pilasters and grave niches. A 3rd century funerary temple with its elegant portico of six columns. Inside the chamber, steps lead down to a vault crypt. The shrine might have been connected to the royal family, as it was the only tomb inside the city's walls. The remains of the temple were at the west end of the colonnade. This is a small funeral temple outside the city walls. The Turkish castle was built around 634 AD on a nearby hilltop. It offers a tremendous view of Palmyra's colonnade and 50 hectare site. This film is now the only way to experience Palmyra in stereoscopic 3D. The idea of restoring these original 3D images and creating this 3D short film was to give the ancient site of Palmyra back to the world and for future generations to be able to experience in 3D the wonders of this wonderful place as it would have been seen at the beginning of the 20th century before its senseless destruction in 2015 by the so-called Islamic State. Thank goodness for the American colony who originally photographed these images in 3D. And to Khaled al-Assad, after looking after the ancient ruins of Palmyra in Syria for 40 years, he refused to show IS where some of the treasures were hidden, and so paid with his life.